All right, Easy Bakers, so today we're gonna be making a peach cobbler cheesecake. Definitely follow me on my Instagram at Daphne Freeman. And if you guys like this video, please thumbs up, share it to help your girl out. Let's get into this video. All right, Easy Bakers, so the first thing you wanna do is start off with your graham cracker crust. You're gonna put your graham crackers in a food processor, or you can do this by hand. You're gonna add a tablespoon of sugar, as well as five tablespoons of melted butter. And you're just gonna crush that up and put it in the bottom of your pan. What I like to do in the bottom of my spring pan, I do spray it with Pam, and I also put uh, parchment paper on the sides of it so I can have that nice, pretty, round, you know, edges when I get ready to take it out. So you're just gonna press that in in a nice little layer, get it all nice packed in, and you're gonna put it in the oven at 350 degrees for eight to 10 minutes or until it's nice and golden brown. I'm gonna start with my peach cobbler filling. I take a cup of butter, and it was so crazy because you know how the coronavirus is out, so people are cleaning the shelves. I was only able to get this huge can of peaches, so I kind of had to like just eyeball how much I need to put in there because I usually use two large cans. So if you can use two large cans, add some lemon um, juice with some vanilla, um, also some salt. I can ha I'm gonna have all of the ingredients down in the description box, but. You're, if you're not gonna make a peach cobbler pie with additional to this, then you can like just do half of this recipe because it was a lot left over. All right, so once you add all of your ingredients to your melted butter, you're gonna stir it around until everything just start to combine together. Then you're gonna add um, four tablespoons of cornstarch. I like to divide them in two, like put two in there, stir it around, put two more. Then I cook it on like a temperature until it starts to thicken up. Now the fun part, we're starting with our cream cheese. So I got four eight ounces of cream cheese in here. I'm adding my sugar into this and I'm creaming those two together first. When you so definitely make sure everything that you use is that is softened, um, so it'll help everything combine very easily. People like to say room, you know, keep it at room temperature. So you just want it to be softened, and you see how creamy it is. That's what you want. You want it to be very creamy. So then I'm gonna add a little bit of heavy cream into this, mix it around some more. And I'm also gonna add my vanilla bean. Now I'm using a, a one vanilla bean, but if you do not have vanilla bean, you can definitely use uh, two teaspoons of vanilla extract. I just think the vanilla bean brings out the flavor more. Then I'm gonna add two cups of sour cream, five tablespoons of, what is it called, flour. And you're gonna go ahead and mix that around too until it's very nice and creamy. Make sure you scrape the sides. Now, the most important part is your eggs. I'm gonna add four eggs to this, but I'm doing it one at a time. When I stir it around and I see the egg has disappeared, I'm adding another one. You do not, and look at him waiting, y'all. My kids be waiting for this food. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. So, like I said, it's very important to, uh, to mix your eggs in one at a time. Now, I'm taking some of that filling juice from my peach cobbler and I'm putting it in there and it was so good. So then you're just gonna pour it inside of your, your prepared pan. I did place aluminum foil around my pan because I'm going to add about two, two to three cups of hot water to this other dish that I set it in. Like you guys saw, I set it in a heavy duty pan and I'm gonna add some water to that pan and put it in the oven at 350 degrees for one hour.
So after you have baked your cheesecake for one hour, turn the oven off and let it continue to cook in the oven for an hour. You want it to be jiggly, slightly jiggly. That's how you know it's gonna set well and it's gonna be done. You see how it's jiggling? It's perfect. Let it sit and cool off. Now what I do after it cools a little bit, I put my peach cobbler on top of this and I set it in the refrigerator overnight. If you don't have overnight time, you can let it sit for at least four to five hours because you want it to firm up because that's how, you know, cheesecake is. It takes, it's a process, y'all. So, yeah, <laughs> wrap it up with some plastic wrap and put it in the refrigerator. All right, you guys, so now it's the next day and I'm just removing everything just to see how it turned out. And if I say so myself, it turned out a beautiful, a beautiful, oh, okay. So, but it is very important if you want those sides to look beautiful, you wanna use the parchment paper so it can give you a picture perfect look on the sides. This was very creamy, the taste was wonderful. I hope you guys do decide to make this video since you are at home. So definitely follow me out on my Instagram at Daverny Freeman. If you want to see what other videos that I have cooking up, I will talk to you guys on my next video, my Easy Baker. Thank mm -hmm. you.